Hey homies, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and I'm bringing you a deck review of a deck that I just received last week, and I'm still in the process of bonding with it, getting to know it, learning from it. Um, I took my time before purchasing this deck, um, although I'd seen, uh, there's a couple of reviews um, on YouTube, but not many. Uh, the review that I like best is from um, Elise from Wild Moon Woman, um, and she talks about this. Um, so I had it in my Amazon wish list for a little while before actually going with it, um, because it's not a, a super cheap deck. It was like twenty some dollars, so so I held off for a little while. Um, it says this is a deck of remembrance. This deck reaches the memories of the soul astrology personal insights and symbolism in daily life are revealed through the cards constantly changing combinations of cards disclose the whole range of human existence complete with 78 cards in full color by artist Thea Walk Weller and booklet of instructions. Okay, so um, Okay, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this so that I can show you there's I mean, there's several ways you, you could use this. You could use this like a normal tarot deck and, and that would work fine. Okay, so here's the, the extra card that kind of comes with it. Okay, and this is the back of the cards. It's just a, um, not too shiny. It's just that shuffleable, you know, smoothness to it. Um, but it's got the two little angels there. It says symbol on and it's just a nice gold. Okay, so let me put this back. And let's take a look at the booklet. Oops, sorry. Here's the ex the other extra card. It's talking about um, manufacture a defect. If you're not happy, you know, with the deck, blah, 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 send it back. We'll refund you and all that good stuff. Okay, so it's a nice, thick booklet. Um, and for a lot of people, they just toss away the little white book. But um, if you would like to use the deck as it was intended by its creator, um, you're going to need to make use of this little white book. <laughs> little uh, a lot okay so um, just opening it up to the front it has your table of consent contents consents um, talks about symbol on um, the inner persona astrology two fundamental ways of playing um, the card spreads card sequence interpretation of the cards and the illustrated index okay so on the cards themselves um, you'll notice there aren't any numbers, there aren't any keywords or anything like that. So the only way to find the cards is to go to the very back where they actually have illustrations of the cards. So you actually have to find your illustration. So let's say I wanted to find that guy that kind of looks like the fool. Okay, so I'd have to go through here. Nope, don't see it. Don't see it. Gotta keep going. Choose something that's like the very last one. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's uh, number 79, or page 79. So I have to go to page 79. Okay. Okay, so here's my card, and its signature is Gemini Aquarius. So you got Gemini, Aquarius, and then Mercury and Uranus. So it's the planets that um, are connected to those zodiac signs. So the summary for the cards, so some themes or words that come up, dream dancer, reaching for the star, stumbling, the Freudian slip, recklessness, the free thinker, insipi um, ins insignificant cause and momentous effects. Um, so if you're doing one of their spreads, They're, they have three card spreads. Um, depending on where it came up in the spread, it'll tell you what the meaning is. So if this were just a single card, then you would read under letter A. Um, if this was in a three card spread, you would read that. And if it was the first card, you would read letter A. If it was the second card, you'd read letter B. And if it was the last card, you'd read it as letter C. Um, so let's go back a little bit. <clears throat> Sorry, I had to cough. Um, okay, so there are ways that you could use it. You can use it um, 
by strictly going off the meanings and the feelings that you're getting from the cards. Or if you're really into astrology and you're pretty good with that, you can look at it from an astrological standpoint as well. Okay, so it gives you some sample questions that you can use with this deck. And what a three card spread would look like. Okay, so it's got your, your card sequences. Your moon cards, which ones are sun cards, Aries cards, Taurus cards, and so forth. Okay, and then it goes on to the interpretations. And there you have it. So, yeah, so what this, I mean, okay, so you could use it as a regular tarot deck. You could use it as an oracle deck. You could use it as it was intended by the author. Um, and so the two ways for that would be if you are deep into astrology and you want to understand uh, those, those ruling planets and um, those zodiac signs, then you would incorporate that into your reading. If you're not so good with that, you could leave it out and just kind of go along with their, their spreads and their themes and keywords and, you know, whatever other intuition that you get from it. So the reading, um, I would say I'm not comfortable being able to do this for a client. So right now I'm just kind of working on myself with it. Um, but this is really good for, um, past life memories, memories that um, you have suppressed, um, you know, if you're, you're doing a lot of emotional work, psychological work, um, moving through blocks that you have in your life and, um, you know, bring, <laughs> you know, as a, oh, I forget the name of the actor would say, um, bringing up old shit. So yeah, bringing up all that old shit um, that you need to work through so that you can move ahead in this current life. So whether those memories are coming from a past life or just from um, this life, but in your youth or, you know, things that you've just kind of blocked and pushed away, then this deck is definitely great for that. Okay, finally, let's get to the cards. Um, so I don't know, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of the artwork. I mean, it's, I mean, images are fine and cardstock's great. Um, and you can definitely, um, I definitely got, get a lot from my intuition from this. Um, so I do, or what I've been doing is I do their three card spread, you know, and I do kind of use the little booklet to, you know, take a look at what their theme and their kind of interpretation is, but then I mix it with my own interpretation, kind of what I'm, I'm getting from it. Um, and since I do know a little bit about astrology, I do incorporate a bit of that as well. So for me, um, I've, I've been connecting very well with this, um, but I'd like to work with it a lot more and see where it can take me. And, you know, if I do get comfortable enough with this, then, then, you know, maybe I will do this with a client reading. Um, but for now, I'm just not comfortable doing that yet. I like to be very connected to my decks. I like to know them inside and out and see what kind of messages they have and, you know, how they can help heal um, before I'd use them with somebody else. Very vibrant cards, though. Some of the images um, I've noticed in other reviews people said were disturbing but I think they're they're meant to carry some sort of emotional weight because it's trying to trigger something trigger some sort of memory something that you've you've blocked that you've put put into the far reaches of your mind or your soul and it's just bringing that back out <laughs> yes there's even vampires but I think that's supposed to represent Scorpios, which I don't know why that is. I think that's so sad. And here, kind of like she's going into the egg. He or she. It's almost like it's got a mixture of mythology, fairy tale, 
all sorts of stuff. You know, if you're if you're also if you're looking at it from a, a traditional tarot perspective, the images do go along with that. It's just a different point of view. This one actually is the abortion card, giving up something. That's my kitten walking around over there. So yeah, I, I definitely need to spend some more time with this because it has a lot to offer. You know, with the, the zodiac and the two planets and not not all of these cards have, you know, two zodiac signs and two planets. Sometimes it's just one zodiac sign and one planet. And there you have it. So put all of these back together. Okay, and then we'll give them a little shuffle for you guys. Oops. Shuffle really nicely. So if you are doing your three card spread, let's say, you know, something like this. Okay, so you go into your booklet and you'd um, look up this card um, and then you know whatever you know about uh, Gemini and Mercury I'm a Gemini um, you know and then uh, the other zodiac sign and its uh, planet or astrological um, uh, element um, and then look at what does it say the theme is for this in position A what is the theme for this one in position B? And what is the theme for this one in position C? Um, how are they all connected? How do all these signs connect? Is there a theme amongst the signs? Is there a repetition amongst the signs? Um, is it jogging some sort of memory? Like um, maybe you're getting pieces of a memory. Maybe you're getting an emotion in, or, you know, some sort of feeling from it. Um, you know, so how does it make you feel when you see those images and, um, and certain things? themes are coming up. So I think it's definitely helpful. Uh, maybe it's not everybody's cup of tea, but I'm all about self-help and just trying to better myself. So um, not saying that other people aren't, um, but this is this deck is one of the ways I am trying to do my own self-help. Other people find other ways uh, and other decks, but there you go. So I hope you enjoyed this review. I tried to make it as clear as possible. I actually had to do a lot of my own little research to kind of figure out just how to do it um, until I, I finally got it down. Um, but if you have any questions about this deck or you have this deck and you use it in a different fashion, then let me know in the comment section below. Um, don't forget to click subscribe, give this a thumbs up and um, I will catch y'all later. All right, peace out.